dated Tuesday 15. The Joint Legal Affairs Committees of the National Assembly and Senate today began laying the framework for their deliberations on the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission Amendment Bill. The committees will on Thursday conduct public participation on the bill, hearing submissions from several stakeholders, including the IEBC, the Attorney General, and the Judiciary, among others. The public reaction that, remember, Chairman came out after we had done our last two sessions, there was some uh, reaction to the effect that we don't seem to be committed to deal with the NADCO report and recommendations, which uh, these sessions will allay the fears. As soon as we finish with the bill, we are going to bring it to the Senate so that you can consider as you also bring to us the four other bills that were to be originated from the Senate. The bill was one of the nine referred to the two committees with the aim of implementing the recommendations of the National Dialogue Committee report. As the 45-day timeline for the consideration of the nine bills comes to an end on Friday, the IEBC remains improperly constituted. Article 89.2 of the Constitution gives the IEBC a maximum interval of 12 years to review the names and boundaries of constituencies. 67 constituencies ought to have been scrapped after the last review in March 2012, but the deadline lapsed in March this year. The 90-day period for by-elections in Banisa constituency, Mandera County, and Kisa East Ward in Kakamega County also lapsed in mid-2023. The IEBC is currently under the leadership of its secretariat, led by CEO Marjan Hussein, following the expiry of the term of Chair of Fula Chebukati and Commissioners Boya Molu and Abdi Gulie. Three other commissioners, Juliana Cherera, Justice Nyangaya, and Francis Wanderi, resigned in 2022 after contesting the results of the presidential election, while Commissioner Irene Masit was removed by a tribunal. The timelines are set in the constitution. And we are almost at the, at the upper limit of the timelines. And we do not have a commission that can do delimitation of boundaries as required under the Constitution. The vacuum continues despite a court order by High Court Judge Mugure Thande directing the IEBC to recruit new commissioners immediately in line with the Constitution. President William Ruto halted the recruitment process in 2023 to allow dialogue between the government and the opposition. The IEBC amendment bill seeks to increase the number of members of the selection panel from seven to nine to accommodate a wide spectrum of stakeholders and interest groups. The NATCO report also recommends a constitutional amendment to extend the constitutional timelines for delimitation of boundaries through a resolution passed by both houses of parliament. The committees could also recommend a referendum for the report's proposals. If the bill is passed, the expanded selection panel will be appointed through a competitive process and will thereafter nominate new commissioners within 90 days of its appointment. This bill is actually as a result of a negotiated political process. So I don't expect the protagonists who were involved in that to come back and say there is anything wrong with it unless if there are other members of the public who may feel that we need to say a lot more than we have said. On Friday, the Joint Committee will retreat to prepare its report ahead of the bill's second reading next week. Muriel Adhiambo, K24 TV, Nairobi.